Hello. Let's talk a little bit more about this INFJ stare. And after doing some research, and by research I mean I have been paying attention to what I do and maybe why I do it and just being a little bit more self-aware. So in the previous video, which I will link in the description, talking about eye contact and my difficulty with keeping it in conversation with people, I try to pay attention to what I do and why I do it. So I'm realizing in conversation that when I, when the other person is speaking, and I'm going to try to break it up into um, people that I know well, and then people that I don't know well, like maybe my clients or someone that I run into <clears throat> out in public. So it's early in the morning because, again, the insomnia, I've been waking up at like four o'clock. But so when I'm talking to someone that I don't know very well, like a client or someone I run into in public that I, you know, kind of know an acquaintance. Um, while they are speaking, I stare at them. I look at their face, I look at their body language, I um, pay close attention to, you know, my extroverted feeling kicks in. So I pay, pay close attention to what they are giving off emotion-wise which a lot of times is different than what they're saying or what they're trying to um, show you, I guess. You know, that you can see through the mask, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And then when I am speaking to them, you know, so I'm able to hold eye contact when they're talking um, in most cases. There are some cases that I can't, and I'll get to that. But I'm able to hold eye contact, watch them talking. I notice that my, um, you know, my NITI loop starts going. So then I'm immediately thinking of solutions to whatever they're saying. I, you know, my brain is bringing me to different things that um, might help them or that I've experienced or different situations, you know, while they're talking, I start thinking of those things. And, you know, of course, this is just this internal dialogue that's going on while another person's talking and I am of course like okay Joy let's pay attention they're speaking to you stay on stay on task stay in the moment but then when I am speaking in return is when I have a hard time holding eye contact I look away a lot um, and I realize it's because I'm thinking or because I'm becoming uncomfortable if I see or sense that they are very interested which is a bizarre thing. You want people to be interested in what you're saying, but as soon as you see that like connection, or as soon as I see that connection that they're making with me, I want to look away because it becomes uncomfortable. I'm realizing that even though I want connection with people and I want, <clears throat> I want people to understand me and listen to me, I'm uncomfortable as soon as they want to make a connection with me. It needs to be on my terms for some reason. Now, when I'm talking to someone that I know well, you know, I have the increased interest in what they're saying, their emotional state. And of course, even before they start speaking, I know their emotional state because that's one of the strengths we have is recognizing someone's emotional state. So, for example, I was talking with my, um, I only have one coworker because I rent a booth from a salon owner and it's just her and myself. So we obviously share a lot of time together and we share our lives with each other. And she's another introvert, but she, like my son, is an INTP. So um, interesting, interesting processing and interesting dealings with people, watching, watching another um, type of introvert that doesn't have FE. Um, <clears throat> well, anyway, when I'm speaking with her and she's talking about different things that she's going through and telling me stories and she's very entertaining. So, um, when she's telling me stories, I study her while she's talking. I absolutely stare at her. Um, 
probably like unblinking gaze. Now I do notice that she looks away while she's talking and maybe that's a common thing for people. <clears throat> I didn't notice too many people in my you know, little time of research that stared intently the entire time they were talking. So a lot of people look away. And um, maybe I'm one of the few that notices that I look away and is bothered by it. Although I have noticed I, when I'm speaking to people that I know well, when I'm looking around, you know, while I'm talking, they're kind of looking in the same direction. Like, what is she looking at? And um, maybe they're doing it subconsciously, but I notice, <laughs> I notice that they are noticing that I'm looking around. And then the other part that um, I noticed is the most uncomfortable thing for me to have conversations with people that want to hold eye contact is men. And I'm not sure if it's a trust issue. Um, I'm not sure if it's a, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but holding eye contact with men that are not my husband <laughs> is very difficult. I, you know, immediately pick up if they are attracted to me and then I get some kind of shame response in my body that I feel like, you know, I've done something wrong if they feel that way. And <clears throat> that's probably not healthy and I need to work on that because I can't control someone else's response to me. But you know, I do work in the public and I do cut men's hair and I do have conversations with men and um, I have never been able to be friends with a man that wasn't my husband. I don't think it's appropriate to be friends with a man that's not your husband anyway, so that's not something I do, but <clears throat> having conversations with men in particular that are not my, you know, brother, husband, father. I cannot hold eye contact. I would look at anything rather than look at them. And um, I don't know if that's normal. You know, you ladies out there, um, and even you guys, when you're talking to women that are not your significant other, is that something that you notice that you have difficulty holding eye contact um, because you feel like it's inappropriate? Or you feel, um, you know, for me, I end up feeling very small and I. I don't like that feeling of feeling small you know I want to feel powerful and comfortable in my own skin and if I feel like they're getting too interested in what I'm saying I often will change the subject to something else because it just feels uncomfortable for me so let's see we'll sum it up a little bit here because I think I've talked long enough and I'm starting to ramble and uh, anyway so holding eye contact while someone else is speaking is easy for me. Um, I am very interested in what they have to say. I um, am thinking the whole time. I'm trying to figure out how to help them. I am picking up their emotional state and I am feeling what they're feeling. And um, that used to be something I didn't like and I've learned to love it because I know that's the way I'm created. I am made that way on purpose for being able to help other people, I think. and. Um, yeah, so, but when I'm speaking, I my eyes are all over the place because I am, you know, speaking and thinking 100 miles an hour and the words are coming out slower than my brain can process them. And I stumble on my words a lot and say a lot of things that probably way too much information. I once joked that if someone asks me, how do you water your chickens in the winter? It takes me 20 minutes to explain how when I really could just say, I use ice cream pails that I thaw in the bathtub, but I have to go on for 20 minutes because all of this circling, circling thoughts has to come out the mouth when someone asks me a question. <laughs> but we definitely have an intense gaze and we study people more than just study their surface appearance. You know, I do study surface appearance, specifically hair, because I do hair for a living, but we study you know, their soul, what's going on with them emotionally. Oh, hello, Alice. <laughs> Here's our half feral kitty, and she decided she wants to be domestic and walk in front of the camera. So, um, 
yeah, give me some feedback, guys. Let me know what you think of this after my little bit of research. And hopefully it made sense to you. And have a great day. Live and love out of the way you were created. Thanks so much.